Hey, what's up everyone? Thanks for joining another real-time edit. Let's check out this beautiful wood duck in some really nice morning light. Uh, got really lucky when this fella decided to swim in real nice and close. So I'm going to start with a crop, just going to straighten out that horizon. And I already clipped the head, so I'm just unfortunately just going to go purposeful with it. Um, with the reflection, I would have loved to have had the whole thing in there. And I honestly, I probably could add enough around the edge to make it work, but feeling lazy and I don't think it's going to make that much of a difference. I kind of think since it's such a tight portrait anyway, that I can just get away with something like that. So uh, there was like the tiniest bit of fog in the air that day, which is why it's a little hazy. So I'm just going to anyway, lift it up, shadows up, blacks back down for contrast, and that should bring it right in line. There we go. Now we're popping with the colors, got good detail everywhere. I think that's about it right here. Let's jump into Photoshop and see what else to do. Gosh, not going to be a lot to do to this one, but there are a few things I can do to just enhance it and really bring out some of the colors on this bird. So I like the water drops on the back there. They kind of look neat, but I always find them to look kind of odd in the reflection there. So I'm just going to pop those out real quick. Um, and maybe the, the ones right in the black there, we'll just get rid of it since they just look like dots. But these water drops up there look fine to me. And the water is really clean here. Not much else to do. All right, so let's start tackling some other stuff. So I'm going to really push up some colors here uh, or some brightness and, and detail in some areas. So I'm going to start by just kind of doing a nice light and curve and just painting some of that in, in the greens and the little pastels there. I'm going to hit the entire eye, a little bit of the orange and pink there. Just basically going to hit any of these areas that look like they should use it or could use it just to make those colors stand out obviously don't forget to match those same adjustments in the reflection down there brighten that eye a little bit this black is just getting a little washed out so i'm going to do another curves layer and just kind of richen that up just a little bit the black on the head's looking really good to me already so don't feel like i need to do much there I do want to enhance that green a little bit. I'm going to go just a tad lighter and a little bit more green on it. And just kind of paint that in into those areas and maybe a little down there should be good. Um, let's go with a little bit more cyan on those kind of blues there. Again, we'll just really pop those colors. Just hit them real quick. A little bit more yellow on the flanks there. Just kind of really make that stand out. A little bit more red in that rusty breast there, which is really cool. And then let's do some catch light action here. Uh, love when you can see the horizon, like you can see the shoreline and the sun in there. It's pretty cool. So this whole upper half should be a little bit lighter. And then I'm just going to put a little black like darkening fade back into the uh, pupil there and then I do want the uh, the rest of the eye yeah that's way better to get a little bit more rich there so uh, around that edge and then definitely across the bottom right there we'll kind of make that stand out a little bit more this black is just already kind of losing detail so I'm just going to actually make it more black since it's kind of getting again like a little washed out same thing on the bill here I'm um, just going to do that real quick so I don't paint Oops, in the background. And then I can just kind of hit that real quick. I'm going to do a little dodge on parts of the water drop. And it's grabbing some of that water drop. Let's try less. There we go. Invert that. Just paint some of that. I really want that water drop to stand out. Yeah, look at that. Looking really nice now. Gosh, not much else to do. Uh, let me go back to the darkening I did, which I think is there. Make sure I put some of that on the reflection down here. Just kind of get that nice and rich. And there's a little bit of, yeah, I went too far there. It was a little washed out. So I think something like that. You know, I was at first going to go a little bit warmer tone in the background, like, like enhance that a little bit. But I think if I do, it's just going to compete with all the warmer tones in the duck. So I'm going to leave it kind of dulled down in that background. So from that to that, see how everything's just kind of popping a little bit more? Colors get a little bit more rich. So there we go. I think that is it. Let's save that. We'll go back to Lightroom. I'll show you the beginning and end. 
Um, so that way we can see the total before and after. I got the original all set ready to go there. Look at that. That original is looking pretty dull right now, but it had the bones. It had the good content to begin with and able to just kind of really make it punch up and stand out just like that. Thanks so much for watching. If you're interested in learning more about how I do all this in a much slower speed and a step-by-step -step way, or you want to ask any questions, head on over to rayhennessy.com. Uh, hit the workshops menu on down to online workshops, and then you can just look for the remote training session right there and get in touch with me about that. I also have an online bird photography course now, so I'm going to teach uh, it's mostly beginner, but a little bit intermediate stuff as well, but teach you everything I know about bird photography. So you can check that out, find more about it at either right here through the website or just visit learnbirdphotos.com, nice and easy. And then you can sign up and from anywhere in the world, you can learn how I approach and do my bird photography. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this real-time edit. I'll have another one next week.